Hello, namaste, fist pump. Today, we're gonna to be using the Apple Watch to do heart rate recovery, or HRR, which is just your heart's ability to recover after workout, which shows if you're in good kind of cardiovascular health or not. Um, I'm gonna have a hard time holding this up to screen, so what I'll do is screenshot what it says on my Apple Watch and add it on later. So today is Pi Day, it's the 14th of March. Happy Pi Day, everyone. Uh, so I did 314 calories, on the bike um, and then ended my workout. The most important thing to do with the Apple Watch, ideally if you want a really accurate result, um, my zone, which is a heart rate monitor, which I left mine at home, that's why I did it on Apple Watch today, um, will take you up through your workout zone so it's really repeatable each time. And plus, if you compare your score to other people, it kind of gives you a general, are you more ca cardiovascularly fit than them? And it's just one indicator of your overall health. So don't get too carried away. So I will also add in a picture of what your averages are for one minute, your averages for two minutes, and for three minutes. Uh, what I do know off the top of my head is that if your heart rate doesn't recover 12 beats uh, within one minute, you're at real risk of cardiovascular health. There was a study done, um, quite a long study done, and people who recovered less than 12 tend to die before the end of the study. So not good, go get yourself checked out from cardiovascular, a cardiologist if that doesn't happen. Um, so. What you can do with the Apple Watch though is, the second you finish your workout, the absolute second you finish, stop the workout in the app. Go lie down on the floor, go sit down, go breathe, don't listen to any upbeat music, try and take your headphones off. Just sit and chill for two minutes um, and then go into your app and check out what you've got. So I will go into the app and fire a couple of screenshots and add a wee voiceover. Uh, thanks for watching, hit like and subscribe. Thank you. Okay, so open up the fitness app um, on your phone. And I've got two indoor cyclings here. Uh, that blue one is because I've logged it on Erg Day. I'll quickly show you that one. So 314 active calories. And um, that's what the Concept2 machine logged. And as you can see, my heart rate kind of steadily increases throughout time, but that's not the one I'm interested in. I'm interested in the one that I've actually logged on the Apple Watch, which is this top one, the indoor cycling. So we're gonna click on that there. Um, and it shows a different calorie amount. And this is just the Apple Watch and a machine will have different calories. So it's 100 calories different, which one to believe? Don't suppose it really matters. Consistency matters more. And as you can see here, I've got my heart rate and it's the same, the heart rate kind of, goes up over time and if I swipe this to the side here this is my heart rate recovery so the second I ended my workout my heart rate was 164 beats and after a minute it went down to 106 and after two minutes it went down to 85 and if I show you in the Apple Watch in the heart and um, the heart app on the Apple Watch that will show me um, the actual numbers so here's a screen grab for the Apple Watch. In the bottom right hand corner, you got a little heart symbol. You want to click on that and then you scroll through there and you can find your recovery. So this is mine here. And as you can see, it's uh, 59 after a minute and 80 after two minutes. And let's see how that compares to uh, the averages. So these are the averages. So after one minute, the average is 23 beats recovery. After two minutes, 58. And after three minutes, 82. And these are just worldwide averages. So if your heart rate recovers faster than that, i.e. you have a higher number than that, then you are fitter. And if it's lower than that, you are less fit than average or your heart rate is recovering less fit. And as I said before, if your heart rate doesn't recover 12 beats in the first minute, you should really go to a cardiologist. Anyway, if you like this video, hit like and subscribe and see you in the next one.